high schoolers have already walked the stage for graduation, but many more have yet to take that commencement walk. And some schools are still looking ahead to these ceremonies, but now they've had to kind of pivot on a dime with the new guidance coming out from the state this week, changing by the moment. Yeah, guidance that continues to change is causing some frustration for some superintendents. News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc is joining us now live from outside Liverpool High School. Julia, right now the plan isn't changing there, right? It's not Dan and Nicole. Now, unfortunately, for Superintendent Mark Potter here at Liverpool High School, he says that these changes are coming too little too late, especially for them with their graduation just a week away. They're going to keep things as is for right now. Now, as you mentioned, this is all coming after an announcement from the state health department yesterday where they're now loosening the restrictions for outdoor gatherings, which means that outdoor graduations can now have more people. So more students can welcome more guests. Now, Potter anticipated something like this would happen and solidified plans that would work no matter what the guidance from the state said. Now here's what their graduation plans look like. So next Saturday morning, 550 high school seniors will have a traditional cap and gown ceremony in their brand new gymnasium with speeches and that'll be live streamed. Then right after the kids will walk out and the parents will be able to see them walk across the stage and get their diplomas outside in their stadium. That will also be live streamed for people who aren't there. Now each student gets eight guests, but if there are requests for more, the district is willing to accommodate them. We were concerned and rightfully so that the rules were going to change at the 11th hour. Um, the realistic outcome of this is it makes the districts um, look bad because it puts us in a predicament that, you know, we could have done this or we should have done that. Uh, unfortunately, you know, graduation takes us, you know, quite a bit of time to plan now, that's the unfortunate situation here, but the Central Square superintendent tells us that they're going to be having a meeting today to see how they can work around this guidance and maybe bring more people onto their high school graduation. We will, of course, be following that closely and we'll update you as we learn more. For now, we're live right outside of Liverpool High School. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.